Don't you wish you could link containers in Editor X with URLs? Well, now you can. In less than two minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can achieve this with just a short piece of code. And in a few easy steps, you'll be able to make those beautiful containers actionable items. All this, now. Before we begin, if this web page does not look familiar to you, I recently collaborated with the team over at Editor X for a super fun webinar where I did a live layout or tutorial where I built this page here. This is a follow up video here that I'm creating as promised where I show you how to turn your containers into clickable links. I'll be sharing that video on my channel soon, but in the meantime, I'll provide a link here where you can watch it now. So let's get started. First, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go to dev mode in our navigation bar up here, and then go and turn on dev mode. Once dev mode is turned on, you'll see the appearance change slightly. We have this new bar right here, and we have this window down here with our code. I'm gonna go ahead and toggle off the site structure, which will get rid of the bar on the left, and make this full width. Next, in this window here, I'm just going to grab all of this and delete it because it is not needed. And then I'm going to paste in my code. This code right here can be found in the video description. And I also link the reference site or article to where you can see the actual code and the comment string. So taking a closer look here at this code, we're going to be changing this subject's ID and this URL. This subject ID, subject ID, ties to a container, which this is the container name. And then we're saying on click, take us to this URL address. So let's go ahead and get started. If I scroll down here, I'm gonna go to my first container, which I've already, as you can see, changed the ID name from box one or box three, whatever the default name was, to subjects. But how you do that is you go over to your layers panel, make sure that display IDs is toggled on. If it's toggled off, you won't be able to do this. Toggle it on, double click, and then type in the name and hit enter. So I've already done that right here. The next thing I wanna do is change my URL address. So I have my URL address. Now I'm going to paste it in. With it pasted in, I am done. I can publish the site, give it a refresh. And now you can see the difference between these two containers. All of these containers on the bottom here have the animation or the effect of it being pushed in, but this is the only one that is linked because I did it in the editor. If I click, it takes me right to the site, perfect. I can go back now. Now let's go ahead and link these next two containers. I can easily just copy this code here, lines three through five with Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC, then Command V or Control V. All right, so I've gone ahead and linked these two containers to the URLs and it happens to be the same URL as the first one. So they all share the same URL. I'm gonna go ahead and publish. And now, if we hover over our containers, we can see that they're all linked. And there you have it. Now you too can use the power of Velo in Editor X and turn your containers, images, and objects into hyperlinks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos around this topic or other web design tools, concepts, and strategies, then please subscribe and be sure to hit that bell to be notified as soon as they are released. My name is Rich, and thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I look forward to seeing you next time.